Well, welcome back. You know, we're here down at Tyler Bend and for a celebration of the 40th year of the Buffalo River being adapted to the uh, uh, Park Service. And with me here is John Paul Hammersmith, and he was very, very instrumental in getting that started. Am I lying? No, that's where it is. <laughs> what, what was your interest initially to want to save the Buffalo River? Or well, why did you get involved with it? Well, in 1966, I ran for Congress. In 1967, I was elected. And I was the first Republican we had since Reconstruction days, about a, nearly 100 years. But it was controversial, and I defeated a man named Judge Trimble, who was a very beloved individual, and uh, had, he had supported wanting a big dam, or two big right. dams, originally on the Buffalo River. And that's a long story of why that did not occur. For one thing, Governor Faubus, when he was governor, put a moratorium on it in 1965. Yeah. So in 1966, when I went to Congress, I began to study the issue from both sides, from the Corps of Engineers side and the Park Services side. After about three years, well, for one thing, when I got there, I was since I was the first Republican, I didn't want them to think I was a smart aleck. Were you a little nervous being the only Republican in there? No, I was that way for years. <laughs> but, but anyway, I, I didn't want them to think I was a smart aleck upstart Republican. So it took me about three years to nurture the powers that be there, the chairman of the Interior Committee and others that had a say in, in getting a bill passed. And then the Park Service helped me draft a bill. I introduced it in May of 1971. And by that time, I had gotten enough support to where it passed without any problem whatsoever. And that's what created the park. And, uh, but 40 years ago, it was still very controversial right here at this place where we are. If we had tried to have this meeting here on the bank of the river and 40 years ago, the Searcy County people would run us off. Oh, really? But, but over time, uh, we, we've drafted the bill where people could continue to live in the park for 25 years on a lifetime lease, and that sort of alleviated a lot of the feelings. Yeah. Even today... Because this was their it, land, I mean, before it was taken right. over right. by the Park Service. Right. And even today, uh, they, that, that time has expired. All those lifetime leases have expired. But there are still people living on the park land through a lease from the Park Service. So you still get a pastoral view if you're in the Boxy Valley or one of these other places, uh, which is great. They also allow agricultural activities such as hay mowing and hay growing. Right. And so it's been a very successful thing. I think all the hard feelings have gone now. I think everybody realizes that the, saving the buffalo, which is a real treasure to our state and to the nation, was the right thing to do. I might mention just an aside, 140 years ago this year, Yellowstone, our first national park, was created. 100 years, 140 years ago this uh -huh. month. Oh, wow. And then the, I had another national park in my district, Hot Springs National Park. Uh -huh. And it was one of our earliest national parks in the United States also, almost lies back to the time of Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so the parks are for the people, and they're wonderful to be preserved, and uh, they really should never reduce the, the budget on these parks because there's, yeah. there's something that really touches the people. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the big budget pie nationally, this is a very minuscule part of it. All, all of our park system right. is. Yeah. And but so, they, it seems like they want to cut cut those programs well, out. Well, they're visible and looks like they're cutting something, but yeah. they shouldn't cut it. Our real problem, of course, the budgets are entitlements. Yeah. But uh, uh, during your term, you were you you really were bipartisan with a lot of issues, oh, sure. and I think it made some of your oh, yeah, pundits pretty mad about. Well, it. You, I was in the minority all the time. I've, I was I've even exactly. seen I've even seen photos where you were photoshopped out. When they take pictures of you with with the other guys, you know. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. I I got a long story about that where they sure. airbrush me out. Yeah, they airbrush I think you that's out of there. Yeah. Segment. But <laughs> no, we got a lot. Some of my best friends are Democrats, yeah. obviously. Do, do do people that are in office call you for any kind of advice? Yes, uh, Senator Bozeman. Well, even before him, but Senator yeah. Bozeman was always in touch with me. Yeah. And uh, now Senator Walmack is to a lesser degree, but. But I've been out a longer time. I've been out 20 years now. Yeah, but you're still going strong. I was, well, you still I have a finger in things. I was 70, things. and so yeah. I've had 20 years of wandering around Harrison. Well, it was definitely a focus for you not to be Democrat or Republican, but for the 
the betterment of our area here. Well, it I mean, was. Uh, well, some of my mentors up there were Wilbur Mills and John McClellan were great supporters of mine right. and great friends of mine. Well, you crossed another milestone here not too long ago. You, a birthday? Yeah, I had a birthday. Big birthday. Big birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I became you wanna, 90. 90 you, I was going to tell you, you want to tell people how old you were, yeah. <laughs> 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Anyway. Yeah, I think they do. <laughs> well, yeah. we appreciate you being here. This sure. celebration here is is part of it's you. Nice. I mean, you're, you were the big part of this celebration that we're having today. Well, I had nothing to do with it, except yeah. show up. But yeah, it's show up. Nice but to be here. you were instrumental. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you did uh, you do showing up Thank to, you, to these. And uh, hope a lot of big things are coming your way in the future. Hopefully, that they will be. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Playing on it. Thanks, John Paul. You're very Thank you. Thank you.